everyone, it's me again, and it's tutorial time! For those of you who are new to my channel, first of all, welcome! My name is Faith Grenade, and I make makeup videos here on YouTube. Today is what I like to call Faith's Faces, which is a makeup tutorial. And I've got a special, special makeup tutorial for you guys today. It is this gorgeous, stunning, sexy, fall, autumnal, smoky eye. I'm not ready for winter at all. Can it just be fall forever? To make this beautiful eye look, I opted to feature exclusively the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. Now, I think I've shown this on my channel before, but I haven't actually made a video using this palette, and that's because I wanted to have a little bit of time to play around with the colors, you know, kind of form my thoughts on it, figure out what I wanted to do, and this is how it turned out. So, if you want to see how to get this beautiful, sexy, autumnal, smoky eye, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, okay, let's go ahead and get started because this is gonna take a while, probably for me. I know, I think my first eye took like an hour just because I was blending and being picky, but anyway, I've already primed, done my brows and my foundation and concealing just because I'm trying some new products out and I haven't really figured out how I feel about them yet, so... Let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Gonna take my 109, y'all know the drill, and the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, and I'm gonna take Tangerine, which is all the way up here, that bright, bright orange color. And this is gonna be my kind of transition shade, but it's gonna definitely show in the look as well. I'm gonna put this up in the upper crease area, and we're blending that a good bit upward. So now I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, base shadow brush, this little fluffy like blending style brush right here, and I'm going to take Goji from the palette, that color right there. It's a kind of, I don't know, it's not red, but it's not pink either. It's definitely a kind of, I don't really know what to call this, like a plummy, plummy red color. Uh, I'm going to take Goji and sweep this into the crease proper, focusing most of my pigment on the outside. Now we're going to start on the lid. That was quick, wasn't it? I'm going to go ahead and take a uh, e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. You guys already know I love these brushes. And I'm going to take Penny, which is way down here. It is one of the superstars in this palette. It is very, very metallic and pigmented and rich and buttery and beautiful. And I'm gonna put this over most of the eyelid, focusing in the center mostly. So I'm gonna start in the middle, like, hello. And then I'm gonna move toward the inside edge, leaving a little bit of a gap on the inner corner, because I'm going to put something else there. A little bit toward the outside. And then up in the center. You guys don't have to do that part. As I've said in tutorials before, I just like to bring my shimmer shadows up into the center of my crease, because it makes my eyes look bigger. Now we're going to start adding some depth. I'm going to go in with Dark Sienna, which is down here, beautiful, rich, shimmery brown color. And I'm just going to take a tap of this, just barely any at all, because a little goes a long way with the shade, on my C brush, just on the opposite side. And I'm going to work in the outer corner, starting low in that outer V and building outward. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my base shadow brush, tap a little bit into Goji, not really all that much, because I'm using this to blend Dark Sienna out. So for the inner corner, I really wanted a big pop, a big you know, note of interest, because we've got a lot of kind of dead leaf kind of colors, you know, you got a lot of depth in the outside. We want to bring brightness back into the look, and I certainly achieved that with Gold Leaf. Gold Leaf is down here, 
It is a gorgeous gold. I will warn you, it is named Gold Leaf and it can be a little bit on the flaky side. There's quite a few big pieces of shimmer in here, not like huge chunks of glitter, but it is highly metallic. So we're gonna take Gold Leaf and really load up in the inner corner. I'm gonna take a little bit of custard, which is kind of, hard for me to hold this. It's right there. It's a yellow toned flesh tone color. Um, honestly, use something that's close to your flesh tone and I'm just going to use that right on the inner corner to help diffuse the gold leaf and make sure there's nothing harsh going on there. Beautiful. So now the lower lash line. The lower lash line, honestly, pretty straightforward, but there's a little bit of blending involved. So don't panic. We got this. I'm gonna start with the outside and work my way inwards. So starting with the outside, I'm gonna go in with Cabernet, the one right next to Goji. It's in the same tonal family as Goji. It's just significantly darker. And I'm gonna take that and put that on the outer part of the lower lash line. Connecting it to the top and bringing it in a decent bit. Then we're going to take Goji again, gorgeous, gorgeous Goji, and we're going to blend from just at the edge of that Cabernet color in a little bit more. And then I'm going to dust my brush off a little and we're going to grab, you guessed it, Tangerine again, this beautiful bright orange, same brush, and I'm going to work that between Gold Leaf and Goji. Now that's going to look a little bit harsh at first between Gold Leaf and Tangerine, but we want to bulk this color up a little bit. Really make sure it's quite visible because that's what's going to bring in the fall theme. And then I'm going to go in with the accent brush that I used with Gold Leaf. I'm going to put Gold Leaf on one side of the brush and then tangerine on the other side, just very, very lightly. And I'm going to tap each color one by one over that seam. And that's just going to give us a very, very soft, seamless, blended appearance. I'm going to go ahead and take my base shadow brush, just kind of dust any excess product that might be on there off and use that to softly blend my lower lash line, just smoking it out a little bit so it looks a little more, not natural, but a little less harsh. So now I'm going to do a little bit of a liner. I say liner because I'm going to be using a shadow as a liner. I'm going to be taking Cabernet again, right here next to Goji, just tapping into that with my e.l.f. small angle brush and I'm just going to pat this on the outside of my eye and then I'm going to take a little bit of goji again and I'm going to put this in my waterline. Now if you have sensitive eyes do this at your own risk because I know putting shadow on your waterline can, you know, the shadow gets in your eyes and it can irritate them. I haven't really run into any trouble with this technique but just be mindful, it's something that happens. Do this at your own risk. If you have sensitive eyes, you can skip that step. So now for lashes and the rest of my face. Uh, for lashes, keeping it simple, I'm just gonna do a quick coat of my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Uh, this is the Carbon Black one, love that one. And for falsies, I highly recommend using falsies with this look because it is very, you know, deep and dark and big and dramatic and wonderful. So for falsies, I'm going to be using the ones that I almost always use, the Ardell 120 Demis. These are gorgeous. They have just the right length, just the right level of volume. They are perfect for a look like this. So I'm going to do that and do the rest of my face and I will be back for the lips. Hello guys, I'm back and I am flawless. 
A little rundown of what I did. I contoured, as always, with my latest obsession, the Lunatech Cosmetic Labs Contour Palette. I uh, used a bunch of colors in here. I used this deep gray to kind of deepen the contour. I used the light taupe just to naturally contour, and I used the brown shade down here to bronze on the backs of my cheeks and on my hairline and all that good stuff. For blush, kind of, I went with the, the Balm's Balm Desert right here. Beautiful, beautiful shade. And I think it goes great with this look because it provides just the right amount of depth and dimension without looking too terribly pink, um, which is really nice. It's just a subtle rosy tone, uh, but still keeping things very bronzy. And for highlight, I used the yellow highlight in the contour palette as a matte highlight under the eye. And then just to strobe my face off, I used the Balm Mary Luminizer as always. So. All of that is done, now it's time for the lips. The lips are pure, clean, and simple like I always like to do. It is a Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dominatrix. I think this goes perfectly with this look. It's deep, it's dark, it's vampy, it's brown, it's fall. It's like, I don't want to let go of fall. <laughs> if you don't have this or it's a little out of your price range, um, ColourPop's Lippy Sticks in Pitch works as well. It's a beautiful chocolate brown also, but keep in mind that one is not going to be as long wearing as this one is because it is not a long wear liquid lipstick or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Other options. If you don't want to do uh, a vampy lip or a dark lip, I understand. It's cool. These eyes are pretty intense. Uh, if you want to balance it out with a nude, you could do Celebrity Skin would look very nice with this. I'm nude with a little bit of a deeper lip liner around the outside would also look gorgeous. Or just use your favorite nude lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and put on me some Dominatrix. All right, Dominatrix is on, and that is the finished look. A uh, quick tip when it comes to dark lipsticks like this, or dark um, liquid lipsticks in particular, take your time. It is a vampy color, and you know, you can clean things up if you mess up, um, but it can be a little bit difficult if you like royally mess up, so. Take your time, move it nice and slow, clean it up with concealer after you're done, and you're good to go. In the meantime, let's do some awkward posing. Awkward posing. Looking down. Looking forward. Looking fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot about how to create this beautiful, autumnal, smoky, sexy, sultry look. If you did and you enjoyed this video, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt, you know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. I make new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!